Ok, I'm going to show you how to set up a new food diary. Open your browser, this is Google Chrome, and log into your Google account. And then open Google Apps, select Drive, select New, and it's a Google Sheets. And what that does is opens a new sheet. It's working, it's opening. This takes a moment. And we want to call it, well, I'm going to call it Food Diary 2. And enter. So you want to put your headings in. So I'm going to put in the date. Today is the 28th of July 2019. And then here I'll put in calories. These are my headers. You just navigate and using the arrow keys or your mouse pointer. And in here I'm going to put in breakfast. Give that three spaces. I'll put in a snack. Good morning snack. Elevenses. Lunch, give that three spaces. Afternoon tea, your evening meal, give that three spaces, and your supper or another snack. And underneath that, I'll put in total. So today, if I was going to have porridge, I would write type in porridge and prunes I'm going to have as well. And I would normally measure that out, but we'll say it's 200 and the prunes are 90, say. For a snack, I'll have a banana and a banana for 100 grams of bananas, 85 calories. Lunch, I'll have a stir fry, and we'll say that's 520. These are just estimates at the moment. For an afternoon snack, I'm going to have 30 grams of dates, and that's 90 calories. My evening meal, I'll have veg chili with micro rice. So we'll say the veg chili is. 320. I'm not sure of these. I would put in the exact, we'll say that's 350. I would put in the exact amounts normally. An apple for supper. This is just an example. I don't know what that is. 75, say. Now, rather than us totaling those up ourselves, what I would do is I would go up to the toolbar, functions, click on that, and choose sum. And it puts a wee formula in there. And it wants me to define a range. So I would go to the start of the range, press shift and down arrow till I get to the bottom and just hit enter. And that has put a, a wee formula in and it's added up that whole column. Now, I would quite like to stand out a bit, so I'm going to make that a bold. This I'm going to put align it to the center, so horizontal align and just click on center. We'll do the same for this column, center. This row will make that slightly different, we'll make that the text color blue. There we go. Now I want to, this is just for one day, what about tomorrow? Well, I'd have to insert new columns. So, right click on that and I want to put one to the left. We'll do that again. I could do, I could define a range and do two columns at once. And then I want to copy these across. Shift, arrow key, Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Now, if you notice, that's the same date as today. So, if I double click on that, it brings up a calendar and I can put in the 29th. I want to copy my formula as well, so I'll click on that. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. 
and there you repeat the process and that saves automatically food diary too and there we go